Hi! If you're watching this, you are probably thinking about taking the CSCS or are um, about to take the CSCS. And I just wanted to give the YouTube community a little bit um, of my experience with the CSCS. I passed this exam roughly, I want to say, uh, as of publishing this, it's February 9th, 2019. I passed it back in November on the 20th. Um, so it's it's been a um, little over a couple months now that I've um, been a holder of this um, title. And I just wanted to kind of talk about how I um, pretty much went about um, studying and passing this exam. Um, so first thing you should do, number one, is obviously buy the text. Um, the text is right here. It's the essentials of strength, training, and conditioning. I think as of this video, it's still in the fourth edition. Um, but if you're watching this and it's maybe been a year or two, they might have a new edition. Make sure you have the most recent edition. Again, as of this video, I think this is the most recent edition. Um, the first thing you want to do is read this entire book from cover to cover. So it's quite a bit. There is about 600 pages, a um, little over 600 pages. I think it's actually about 650 pages. Um, the information is pretty dense in this book. The CSCS is a very um, research-based exam, and it's a very... Um, scientific exam. I mean, it was written by people that have doctorates, PhDs, um, physical therapists. So it was written by all these um, kinds of authors that have um, really hold really high degrees. So there's a lot of science in this book. And um, it's a very interesting read, though, I will say there's a lot of um, interesting studies and just interesting kind of facts, facts and um, statements that um you know the general person may not know about when it comes to um when it comes to training and um strength and conditioning so definitely a good read though um it's it's very very interesting um so number one you want to read this book from cover to cover um don't even think about taking the exam if you at least have not read this book cover to cover and even if you have i think um there's a lot more you should do once you read this book cover to cover the next thing you should do is register for the exam um, the reason why I say that is because you don't want to read this book and then put off um, taking the exam or, you know, you're going to take a while to read the book and then you're going to take a while to do these other study materials. So essentially, you want to give yourself a time frame to do this um, because if you don't have a time limit, um, you're just not going to feel pressured or feel like there's um, any kind of deadline to it. So you're just going to keep putting it off. And that's honestly what I did. I actually put this off for a while. I think I studied this exam on and off for about a year, and I probably could have done it in less time had I just set myself the deadline and register for the exam. So I'd say once you're done reading the book, um, register for the exam. In terms of reading the book, I would say try to read about a chapter a day. And as you're reading the chapters, uh, take some notes. Um, as you can see, I kind of have a bunch of tags here, so I tagged this book up just in case I um, found, found something important or meaningful and I needed to flip back to it at some point. So definitely take notes on um, as you read. I have about 20 pages of notes here, double-sided. I just have them all stapled together. together. This was kind of like my cheat sheet. I kind of um, just... As the exam got closer and closer, I just kind of kept rereading these notes over and over and over again. And I remember I, even um, right before I went into the testing center, I sat in my car and reread these notes about two times. Um, so definitely have some kind of good compact notes um, with all the important bits of information on this. Um, so once you read the whole book, and also, as you read the book, make sure to do the um, chapter problems at the end because it's pretty um, similar to what you'll see on the exam. So once you read the book, the next thing you want to do is get this guy right here. So this is the CSCS Pocket Prep app. I don't recall exactly how much this app um, costed me. I think it was somewhere around $15 to $20. Um, it's pretty cheap, and you definitely want to get this app because I think it had about 800 questions. 
So it's definitely worth the price. Yeah, 800 questions. So it's definitely worth the price for the, um, the amount of questions you get. I think on the NSCA website, you pay a lot more money and it's a lot less questions. So the next thing you want to do is definitely get the Pocket Prep app and start banging out these questions. Um, I think by the time I was ready to take the exam, I did all of these questions twice. So I answered all 800 questions um, two well, two times. So basically, I did about 1,600 multiple choice questions. Um, the questions here are very indicative or of what you will see on the exam. Um, in one way, they only have three answer choices, which is the exact same way the exam is formatted. So it's only three answer choices, um, which is a uh, greatly in your favor, I would say, um, because you already have a one in three chance of getting the answer right. So um, definitely do all the multiple choice questions. Um, I would say even honestly, as you're reading the book, you can start doing some multiple choice questions um, here on this pocket prep app just to see um, what may be ahead of time. And you'll maybe kind of start to get an idea at um, the chapters ahead. So I would say even as you're reading the book, you can probably honestly buy the CSCS pocket prep. Um, it's a mobile app, so you can do this either on the desktop, like I have pulled up here, or you can do it on your phone. Um, so what I did a lot was I would just, if I ever had any downtime, if I was ever waiting for something, if I ever, you know, had like five minutes to spare, um, if I was sitting on toilet or anything like that, I would just whip this out and start just chugging away at some questions, maybe do like a 10 point quiz and then go about my day. So just kind of, um, integrate this app throughout your day um, just to just to keep testing yourself um, throughout the day once you read the book and once you answer all 800 of these practice questions you should be at a pretty um, I would say good level in terms of knowledge of what's going to be on the exam um, I'm not saying you're guaranteed to pass but I'm saying you should definitely be well aware of everything that's going to possibly be on the exam. And you should definitely be aware of like most, f most of the concepts and be familiar with most of the things that you may see on the exam. Um, so I guess once you're at this point, the next thing I would say to do is buy one more study material. And I'm definitely going to recommend um, this page right here. Um, it's just cscstestprep.com. Um, this is published by a guy here named Ryan Grella. I really recommend um, what this guy made here because he essentially made a very um, compact and precise guide for essentially the everything that's going to be on the CSCS. Um, so he sells all these um, good resources um, 550 practice questions and it's only $28. So I absolutely definitely recommend getting this too. Um, along there's some repeat questions. So from some of the 800 questions here, you'll see them here, but for the most part, there's quite a number of different questions. So between these 550 here and these 800 questions here, I mean, you're looking at about over 1300 questions, um, to test yourself with. And there's also two um, practice tests here. Um, so definitely do everything here. Once you finish reading the book, once you answer all the pocket prep questions, and you're getting, I would say, at least 80% on all the quizzes and um, questions, and once you've answered and done all the, the two practice tests, and all the 550 practice questions, um, kind of as Ryan Grella wanted you to do it. Um, he has kind of an outline for how to do it. Um, so you'll take like the pre-exam um, and you'll uh, pretty much check your score to see what your weaknesses are. So do everything he kind of tells you to do on um, this PDF that he's going to give you um, once you purchase um, it. Because so I found it to be very helpful. I actually purchased this about a week before my exam just because I felt like I needed some new kinds of study material. And I definitely found this very helpful. So once you read the book, once you do all the questions on pocket prep, once you do all the questions on um, the CSCS um, Ryan Grella's CSCS uh, prep here. Um, I think you're honestly going to be pretty solid to take the exam. I 
would imagine by this point that once you're done with all this stuff, your exam should probably only be a few days to maybe like a week away. So just um, study what else you think um, you have weaknesses on and you should be ready to take and hopefully pass the exam. Some interesting things about the exam and some kind of key pointers. Um, again, I can't give out specific questions, but I can give out some general guidelines on what I think um, sh should definitely be studied on. You should definitely study, I should say. Um, definitely study periodization and all the phases that go along with it. And definitely study um, everything that's associated with those phases. So what kind of rest periods would you expect? What kind of um, sets, repetitions? What kinds of exercises? Um, so things like that. Um, just generally make sure you're pretty well-rounded in terms of periodization and everything that goes along with it. Um, a couple other interesting things about the exam, um, and it's also mentioned on Ryan Grella's website here. I believe if you answer at least 50% of the questions correctly on the exam, you are statistically likely to pass the exam if you answer or if you guess on the remaining questions. So I would say the way that's kind of calculated is if you get 50% of them right and get only get about a third of them correct just from guessing because it's only three answer choices, you're, you have a good chance of passing. So the fact that you only have three answer choices is actually very, very much to your benefit. So I would definitely say, um, don't be as intimidated by this exam as it seems. Obviously it's a pretty hard exam. But I'll kind of tell you guys my thoughts on the exam coming out of it once when I was finished and once I um, got my results and found out that I passed. I honestly didn't find it as challenging as I thought it would be. And I think I can definitely... Um, what's the word? I can definitely... I'm like blinking on the word I'm trying to say. I would definitely say that is because of how much I studied. There was a better way I wanted to phrase that, but I didn't figure out how. Um, I basically overstudied. So if you, it's better to overstudy for this exam than to go in this exam um, just with enough. Um, you should definitely overstudy and just be sure you pass the first time. Um, if you don't pass the first time, it's not the end of the world. Um, the nice thing is, is if you fail one section and pass another section, you don't have to retake that other section that you passed. So it's not an all or nothing. Um, so well, that's what's really nice about it. So if you if you fail one section, um, you know exactly what to hone in on and exactly what you need to study. Um, I'll just kind of show you guys here. Um, once you take the exam, you're going to get these two results sheets. Um, they will basically on the sheets show you how you did. Again, there's two sections on this. At this point, you should kind of know that. It's the scientific foundations and the practical applied. On the scientific foundations, there are 80 total possible questions. I happen to get 67 of them correct. And on the practical applied, there's 110 questions and I got 98 correct. So I definitely passed by a good margin. I only needed to get... Um, uh, 84 correct answers, and I got 98 on the practical applied. On the scientific foundations, I got 67 answers correct, and I only needed to get 56 answers correct to pass. So I definitely passed this exam by a good margin, and I think I could definitely um, credit that to um, overstudying. That's the word I was looking for. Um, so once you pass the exam, hopefully you'll get one of these guys. This is the CSCS certificate. Um, you'll get this a bit later. I actually just got this in the mail today. So it takes a couple months for you to receive this, especially if you haven't sent in all the other things that are required. Um, and hopefully by the end of this video, you're already familiar with the fact that you do need to have a bachelor's um, degree to take this exam, to even just sit in this exam. Um, actually, you can sit in this exam. However, um, you will not be granted the title if you cannot prove um, that you hold a bachelor's. 
So just make sure you basically get your bachelor's done first, graduate, and then worry about this exam. Um, that's basically all I have to say. So that's my really main three study tools, the book, the pocket prep app, and Ryan Grella's um, website here. Um, do all those things, read the whole book, do all the questions, and um, you should really honestly be ready to take this exam. Uh, if you guys have any questions, um, please just uh, shoot me a comment, and I will be glad to answer all your questions. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, and good luck on your exam, and I hope you guys all pass if you are thinking about um, taking this exam or taking it soon. Um, good luck to you guys. Um, thanks for watching.